Hey guys, this is Scott. We're sitting over here. We're at the garden. I'm going to show you how to get rid of the called cabbage worms. As you can see, I've got them. I mean, look at that leaf. I've got them really bad. I'm eating all my cabbages here. My summer, or I think they're summer lettuce. I mean, as you can see, they're bad. Basically done eating these two plants to pieces, working on this one here. They haven't really touched these down here, but what they do, they come from a they come from a um white moth or butterfly. They fly around, they'll lay the eggs. When they lay the eggs and they'll hatch into larvae. I've been picking them off, throwing them to the chickens, but let's see if I can't find one here. Oh, there's some little ones there. But those aren't the cabbage. Those aren't the cabbage one uh, worms. Cab cabbage worms are green. Although these might be just some young ones here. But they're all different colors. Hopefully, I've done picked most of them off and fed them to the chickens. But I mean, you have this. This one right here. It's a nice size one right there. there toss them to the chickens speaking about the chickens some more bad news one of my golden comments the other day she had an egg stuck so i worked on it and got it unstuck and everything but i pulled her out here to the side today she ain't she was laying in the coop all by herself laying on her side she wasn't laying up and down like they normally do and just wasn't looking too good for her Normally, she's one that runs away from me. But she ain't feeling the best. I don't know if she's going to make it. I'm going to let her come out here outside the coop out, away from all the rest of the chickens. This, she was laying down until Remy here decided he wanted to play frisbee right here next to her. And she stood up, but all she really does anymore is sleep ever since that egg got stuck. I don't know if she's got another one stuck in her, but she's been laying an egg, or t an egg a day. Because her eggs are like the flatter ones. Actually, I got the eggs in my pocket. I got these two. But her egg is this one right here. It's like a lighter, flatter egg. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with it. It's a good, healthy egg. And she was eating. And she was doing all fine. But I don't know what's wrong with her. But just a couple, well, not two bad things about the homestead right now. Um, as you can see though, somebody's still trying to lay an egg this morning. I had to close the door off because my Rhode Island Red right there, the one right there next to the rooster, was picking on her this morning while she was trying to lay the egg, so I had to get her separated. So as soon as she's done, she'll hop off the nest box and walk around the yard i mean it's no different because she normally jumps out anyway so i'm just letting her out when she's out i'll open the door back up for the rest of the hens to come in but just a crazy day what are you doing so i'll be able to show y'all the recipe for uh the cabbage worms what i'm gonna do try to get them away you just spray it on there it doesn't hurt it's um one thing of onion or like one onion chop it up um about five things of garlic cloves of garlic after that you're gonna um take a teaspoon of any hot peppers like grounded up pepper or if you just have a hot pepper out of your garden straight out of the garden you can um grab the feed bucket you can just throw those straight in there um once you chop all that stuff up you put it together then you're going to go to um the stove or whatever you want to boil your water and bring about a gallon of water to a boil after that you just go ahead and put your dump it in a well i'll put my stuff in a jar and then dump the water on top of the jar i let you can let it sit forever long i normally do it like overnight but since I'm doing it this morning, I'll probably let it sit throughout the day and then tonight. The best time i found to spray the cabbage and stuff is at night. 
right before it gets dark because of the um the leaves are most most of the time dry then so after that you spray them you probably have to spray them once a week or so just to keep them off keep them from coming back but it's not that hard you just put it in a spray bottle once you have it in a jar you let it sit overnight then you drain it you drain the water separated from like the onions and um, garlic and everything like that and then you use the water put it in a spray bottle and just spray the cabbage but I'll show you all the process of that and me putting it on there and hopefully it, it uh, shapes them out and kills them and as we're sitting here talking I don't know what kind of caterpillar or worm that is but that's being flicked um so hopefully we can get that under control and hopefully my pen turns it around and comes on back but you never know she's one of the older hens I have so it might just be that time where her egg production is once every day once every two days so it wasn't like her egg production has gone down any from her age but you never know when it comes to livestock and chickens and all that other stuff so we're gonna head to the kitchen real quick so we can uh go ahead and cut that stuff up and make that all right so i have my water turn that on bring it to a boil got my chopping board here I've already cut most of my onion up. This is just a little bit more that's left. I'm gonna put it in the jar. Excuse you, Figgy. Figgy can't. Always trying to get food, always trying to get more. Stay down. Yeah. Damn. Damn. I'm not cooking any food for extra people. Then you take some uh, cloves of garlic. garlic. Take about five or six of them since they're kind of smaller ones. I'll take about those three there. That one should even be color going. It's so small. Take that one. So I, I did. Five or six small pieces of garlic cloves. Now I have cayenne pepper that's crushed up and some crushed uh, red peppers. So I'm, these haven't been opened yet, so I'm gonna open them up. Do you have any, any hot peppers? Any grounded up hot peppers, it don't matter. But, that way, Figgy, dude, you are all in the way. Mmm, garlic. That's all out the way, that's all out the way, so. There's my onion and garlic. Grab. I'm gonna make it a little spicy. I'm gonna do a teaspoon of each.
teach you that. That's the crushed red peppers. Now we're gonna do the cayenne peppers. together now just mix it up just just good right, so then wait for our water to get to a boil add the water to it and let it sit all right so our pot's done went to a boil i have our onions garlic and pepper stuff in there let me go get the pot This is with hot water. Fill it up. I actually have some extra water, but. Get the lid here. Just to warn y'all, it is going to be hot. The jar is going to be hot from the hot water. So that's why I don't use this lid for the canning processes. You can see that your water turns this orange color right away. So I just let it sit for a little while. Most of the time every night, but I'm gonna let it sit throughout the day while I'm doing stuff outside when I get to work and then when I come home tonight, it should be cooled down and I'll, I'll drain it where all this stuff is separated from the liquid and then I'll go out there and spray it with plants. But if y'all like these videos, there's like short, quick little things here like I do, um, put that like, hit the like button and subscribe and leave down in the comments what else you want to see. Um, we're supposed to be getting some new, um, new members to the homestead. Um, like I've been saying, I, I had, uh, quail on the incubator um we should be getting we might already have a few hatching already so um might have to we'll take a video of that and then we have another new member to the homestead too so that could be something that y'all might be interested in go ahead and leave a comment like and see y'all in the next video